Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this one we're taking a closer look at some of the anomalies I found near to the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover landing site. For those of you that don't know yet, the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover touched down successfully on the Martian surface yesterday. The rover touched down successfully within this area highlighted by the oval. We can see the western edge of Jezero running through the image of here to the left. And this looks like an ancient dried out river that flowed into the crater and made this perfect delta that NASA will be looking at in the near future. So yes, the targeted landing site and the planned route that the rover would take as it makes its way up to the western edge of Jezero and it will travel along that ridge line in the future. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter snapped this high resolution photograph a while ago and it shows the landing site as well as some of the anomalies that we'll be checking out in this video. As always I'll include a link to the reference material in the description below. Acquired on the 21st of August 2014 at 28.4 centimeters per pixel, I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just over 700 megabytes in size. I cropped this image from the low resolution black and white JPEG. The landing site is located roughly 18.49 degrees north, 77.40 degrees east. The ridge line running through this image is the western edge of Jezero. We have the snaking riverbed coming through into the delta over here. This is the path that the rover is going to take in the near future and then out to the western edge of the crater. This here sticks out like a sore finger guys and girls. Check this out. We've got what looked like trenches, possibly canals, maybe roads, or outlines of ancient structures. Who knows what these are? But check this out. We've got square depressions in the Martian surface. And they're basically the same size and shape. So what makes these on the surface of Mars? You'd expect a circular depression if a meteor were to strike the surface. And the other odd thing is these square depressions are parallel with these anomalies, folks. Let's take a close-up look. The way they intersect almost perfect 90 degree angles there and these are uniform in width about four to five meters across and there where they intersect that area is totally clean so a dried out lake bed it makes these uh, square patterns when the mud dries out but look at the distance between these parallel lines we're looking at at least 100 to 120 meters between them more trenches this is zoomed out and now we can see again the uniform width to these trenches or canals who knows what they are we've got 45 degree angles over here it almost looks as if these are main canals and then the water spreads out into these flat areas. Almost like you'd expect to see in agricultural farming activity. Look at these square depressions over here and parallel with these lines. I speculate we're looking at 
very ancient structures here, guys and girls. Look at the way the sand has covered these trenches. And again, four to five meters in width. And it looks as if something made these trenches and pushed the material out to the sides. These are like ridges. And again, another almost square depression in the Martian surface. These lines run up to the depression and then continue out the other side. And here as well, that pattern is repeated. So could these have been dams or reservoirs for water? Who knows? Yeah, I want to highlight the intersection points. Check it the perfect angles over here and the parallel ridges this is also a zoomed out view of more of these close up look it looks like these have been cut through these hills or ridges on Mars, check that out. It's not like they run over them, they go through. And check yeah. You'd expect that line there if this was a natural crack to continue down this way. But it stops there at ninety degree angles to this one. Parallel lines there, more square surface features. Here's a close up look at one of them, zoomed out. One of these trenches or canals running up to the depression, and then it stops. And here we're looking at a close up one to one scale. Note the uniform width to the trench and then the straight edges of that depression definitely looks hollowed out let's have a look at that landing site and the surrounding terrain there we have Jezero Crater I just want to switch over to the higher resolution C2X mosaic. Western edge of the crater and the landing site over there, folks. I've also plotted the route that NASA intends to send the rover on in the near future. I hope we get to see these canals trenches, roads, structures, who knows what these are up close. Maybe it will drive through one of these. It will fit in there. As I say, these are about four to five meters across. It will be interesting to see what this rover photographs and uh, I'll be keeping a close eye on that in the near future as well. I'm going to do a lot more rubber photographs going forward. As always, thank you for watching. Let's have a chat in the comments below. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of what we just checked out. Could those be ancient canals, trenches, roads, or outlines of ancient structures? There's so many parallel lines there, and the width of those light is uniform throughout as well We've got multiple 90 degree angles they intersect perpendicular to each other it's weird thank you for watching folks i do appreciate your support to my new subs welcome on board i hope you enjoy my work and research thanks again for watching take care i'll see you in the next one
Cheers for now.